In this video, we are going to talk about the difference between the paintbrush tool and the blob tool. So if you have the paintbrush tool, you can paint. And let's say that it, the stroke is much larger. We can paint a larger area. But let's say we wanted to fill something in or we wanted one large um, area, all one color. If you take the paintbrush and you paint one large area, it does not create a closed shape. If we select it with the black arrow, you can see all those lines are still there, um, all the path and the anchors, um, and it is not a closed shape. So say we couldn't cut it in half with the knife tool or use the pathfinder tools on it because it's not actually a shape it's just a very thick line on top of itself now let's do the same kind of thing with the blob tool which is just two down from the paintbrush tool we have the blob tool and we paint Now, if we select it with the black arrow, we see that the path goes around the outside of it. And in fact, if we want to add to it, as long as we're using the same exact color, I could paint some more. Oop, I don't know why it got to be so small. Anyway, I can paint some more and we will see that it adds together and makes one closed shape. So in that way, we would be able to use Pathfinder tools or uh, cut it in half with a knife tool or any of those kinds of things. So if you want a big, full painted shape um, and you wanna have it have the attributes of a closed shape, make sure you use the blob tool and not the paintbrush tool. If you have any questions, please let me know. That's what I'm here for.